All right, children's, hello. Been a little bit. So, old man shouting at clouds again. I'm back. Uh, what am I shouting at clouds about today? Uh, today's topic is hypocrisy. Specifically, how parents are hypocrites. And I'm not saying that to be, like, harsh towards parents. Because I'm a parent, and I'm also a hypocrite. And why is that? So, so let, me, let me contextualize this a little bit. So <clears throat> the reason I'm making this video is because it's not uncommon for me or your mom to give you guys an instruction or to, a, a correction or something along those lines. So, for example, maybe, maybe you turn on a show on Netflix and we tell you to turn it off. Or, we, or you, you jump on YouTube and we tell you to get off. And you say, well, you guys watch this stuff. You guys go on YouTube. You watch this. I saw you watching this movie yesterday after we went to bed. Okay? You might say other things like, you know, if we, we tell you about laws that exist and how you can't do something because it's against the law or it's against the rules. And you might respond back and say, I've seen you break rules. I know for sure you were driving on the interstate the other day and the speed limit sign said 70 and you were driving faster than that, Dad. Okay? Yeah. You're not wrong. But that's not the argument you think it is. It's not the get-out-of-jail-free card you think it is. And I'll tell you why. Because it, it's, that's a fair point, Right? And certainly from your perspective, it's a fair point. You're saying, hey, why am I expected to follow the rules, but you don't have to follow the rules? Okay, fair. I'm about to tell you why. And I'm about to tell you what the difference is, okay? So, part of the process of becoming an adult is making a whole lot of mistakes and getting, in some cases, lucky enough to have them not cost you or having them cost you. And so you learn intimately and painfully why violating those rules or those laws or those norms isn't worth it, okay? So when we tell you those things, we're telling you so that you'll avoid making the same kind of mistakes or you'll at least do the thinking required to decide is it worth it? Okay? There are times where we knowingly break rules as adults. Okay? But the critical component of that is we are expected to have the kind of judgment to ask ourselves the question of is the juice worth the squeeze? Okay? Is what I'm going to get out of breaking the rules worth the potential consequences if I get caught. Okay? So as an adult, you're meant to do that math. And if you get busted, you're expected to live with the consequences and not complain about it. And if you do complain about it, no one's going to care, no one's going to listen, no one's going to feel bad for you. You knew what you were risking, and you got busted. That's it. When you're a kid you lack almost all of that context, okay? So at the age of, let's, let's say 12 even, the oldest of all of you right now, you've made comparatively few serious mistakes or broken comparatively few big rules in life, okay? You just haven't had the chance. You're young, the kind of trouble you can get yourself into when you don't have a driver's license uh, is, you know, you don't have a job, nobody expects much from you. The kind of trouble you can get yourself into is relatively minor, right? So, you, yeah, you've gotten yelled at, maybe you've gotten grounded, maybe you've lost some privileges. Okay, yeah, it's unpleasant, it's supposed to be, but it really hasn't cost you much. Well... The older you get, the more privileges and freedom you gain, the bigger the consequences for getting things wrong. 
because people expect you to know better more and more and more the older you get and the more mature you get. So you have yet to make most of those mistakes. You've yet to experience really serious consequences from making mistakes. So we have to go kind of overboard in the other direction of explaining things and putting limits in place for you because you don't yet understand why you need them, okay? And you don't yet understand fully how bad things can get if you don't figure that out, okay? Now, to be fair, it's really, really hard as a parent to knowingly let your kid make mistakes because every fiber of our being is programmed to protect you. Okay, we don't want anything to go wrong for you ever. And we do you harm that way. We do. We we fight it every day. I try really hard. <laughs> Actually, this will surprise you to hear. I try really hard to let you make mistakes. Because I think that's one of the best ways for you to learn. But we have to balance out where it's okay to let you make mistakes because the consequences aren't going to be super severe and where it's not okay to let you make mistakes. So a perfect example of this is I don't mind letting you get a bad grade on a homework assignment. I don't mind letting you be late to a practice and having your soccer coach bench you because you were late. I want you to learn those lessons. And frankly, I want you to learn them the hard way because those are the lessons that stick. If all you ever did was listen to me and you never put a toe over the line, you'd learn nothing. Okay, it, 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 would be, it would be very hard for you to learn those visceral lessons that stick with you because usually the ones that stick with you are the ones that were the most painful. Okay, I'll go back to my childhood. I know I've mentioned this on another Old Man Shouting at Clouds video, but I made the mistake in high school. Not mistake. It, I did something wrong, okay? To say that it was a mistake is disingenuous. I did something I knew was wrong because I was working on a book report for a book I absolutely hated, and I couldn't make myself, well, again, couldn't. Wrong language. I chose not to take responsibility for that and suck it up and deal with it, do what I was supposed to do, even though I didn't like it, because guess what? The only assignments you get in life are not just going to be fun ones. You're going to get ones that you don't like, too, and learning how to deal with that is an important skill. So I was given an assignment I didn't like. Rather than buckling down, sucking it up, and just doing it, I fought the whole thing, didn't read the whole book. And so at the last minute, I had run out of time, couldn't read the entire book, went online, found a paper, and I passed off, largely passed off work that wasn't mine as though it was my own, also known as plagiarism, right? Big problem in school. Big, big problem. And this could have blown up in my face way more than it did. Uh, I did actually alter the work somewhat. I did inject my own opinions a little bit. But it's still plagiarism, right? It's still wrong. I, and <laughs> I don't know if I would have gotten caught if I hadn't admitted to it. Uh, my, my teacher, in fact, said he wasn't positive if I, if I had cheated or not. Uh, but I admitted it. He, 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 he received a number of plagiarized papers for that one because I guess a lot of people other than me hated the book and didn't want to read it. Um, not that that's any defense. It's not. I did the wrong thing. I deserved to get punished. Um, so I turned it in. Following that class, the teacher ga got up in front of the class and, sa and basically told us that, said... I know a bunch of you in here cheated, and I'm going to give you, I think he gave us till the end of the day to take responsibility for it. And he didn't promise any leniency. He said that. I'm not, I'm not promising you that I'll take it easy on you, uh, but I'm going to give you a chance to do the right thing. So I did, and I, you know, I knew the jig was up. So I told him, and he said, you know, I wasn't actually sure about yours talk about a 
<laughs> stomach punch at that point. You're like, oh, <laughs> now I'm going to get the consequence and I might have gotten away with it. But you know what? I've never, ever, ever regretted that decision. Never. Not for one second did I regret admitting to what I had done. And it worked out for me far better than it would have if I hadn't. Um, he failed me. I got an F on that. I think I may maybe even got a zero on the paper, I, which I deserved. I didn't do the work. Um, and it crushed my grade in the class. I had to work super hard to pass that class. But it could have been much, much worse. Like, he could have put that on my public or, uh, on my permanent record. And he didn't. He just gave me a zero. But he didn't say why I got a zero. He could have put that in there. That could have kept me out of college. Um, it didn't. So he did show mercy. Uh, but, you know, the point is, that lesson stuck with me, okay? I never forgot the way I felt, like having to go home and admit to my parents to what I had done, because I knew the school was going to probably call. So I was like, well, they better hear it from me, because if they hear it from the school, it's going to be way worse. Thank God I made these decisions, right? Like, and and thank my parents you know they raised me to believe that you take accountability for your actions and that was the one and only thing i did right in that situation okay cheating nope wrong dumb shouldn't have done it um not like thinking i had any kind of right to just slack on this assignment just because i didn't like it no wrong dumb like Again, you're going to get millions of assignments over the course of your life that wouldn't be the thing you'd pick. That's not the point of the exercise. So, but anyway, the, the point of all this rambling is that lesson really stuck with me. And from that point forward, I never did anything like that again. And in fact, honesty, even to my own detriment, has been... Not that it wasn't, bef not that I was super dishonest before that, but it's solidified in my character that I am a person who will tell you the truth, even if it doesn't benefit me in that exact moment. But you'll, you'll know that when I tell you something, it's probably true. In fact, a boss of mine at, uh, at a, my first professional, the, pr the first company I worked for professionally, once called me overly honest Abe because he kind of wanted me to present a, a rosier picture of sales prospects to upper level management than I was presenting. And my response as to why I wouldn't do it is because I'm like, I don't believe that that's true. I, the, the numbers I'm giving you and the, the situational analysis I'm giving you is what I believe to be true. And he's like, okay, overly honest Abe, you know, you can, you can still put a, a brighter, more optimistic slant to that. <laughs> but that's me. Like, I'll tell you the truth even if it hurts. And I think a lot of that traces back to that experience because it could have blown up in my face so much worse than it did. And the only reason it didn't is because I told the truth. So, yes. We can sometimes be hypocrites as parents, but th I hope this at least provides you with some context for why that is. Like, it's kind of our job, right? Yes, we've broken rules. Yes, we've done stupid stuff. But part of the reason we try to teach you the lessons that we do teach you is not because we're perfect. It's because we're not perfect. It's exactly because we're not perfect that you should listen to us. Because we know from experience how painful some of these mistakes can be. And we're trying to help you avoid them, okay? We're trying to be the GPS that guides you through some of the more challenging aspects of life. Because life can be really, really hard, even if you do things right, okay? Not everyone who suffers in this world did something wrong. Uh, life will throw challenges at you whether you're prepared or not prepared or anything in between. But you're going to be much better positioned to roll with life's punches 
if you're doing things right, if you're setting yourself up for success, and if you're not creating problems of your own that don't need to be there. So yes, we're being hypocritical, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't listen to us because even though we're being hypocritical, it doesn't mean we're wrong. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. I hope some of this sinks in because this is a super important thing to understand. It's also really hard to understand when you're young. Um, I certainly didn't understand it. My parents, I don't think, ever really explained it the way I'm trying to explain it right now. I think they more were like, shut up and do what I told you. <laughs> I'm trying to do better. Uh, not that not that my parents didn't do well. I love you, Mom and Dad, if you're accidentally watching this. But um, yeah, anyway, enough rambling. I, I hope I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say here because it would it would really make our engagements with each other a lot easier if you understood kind of why we're behaving the way that we are. Anyway, I love you very much. I'll speak with you next time.